cool, calm and collected. Something you won't be after you play games on this graphics card. Stick around to find out more about AMD's Fury X and also the free sync technology that we use to, uh, well, play games with this and make one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. Stick around. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is AMD's flagship GPU, the Fury X. It's a Fiji-based chip, which means it has HBM technology, and if you want to learn more about that, check out our interview with Richard Huddy, uh, AMD's chief gaming scientist. Now, it does come with a closed-loop liquid cooling system uh, provided by Cooler Master, and while the one we did have is actually uh, has a couple of issues, um, namely the badge is wrong and it makes a bit of a whining noise, the one you'll actually buy will be fine. As you can see, that's the HBM memory on the die itself, which is why this card is so small. Small. Bear in mind that obviously there is only 4 gigs of RAM here, but uh, because it's such a wide bus at 4096 bits, you do actually also get um, the ability to switch between system memory at the same speed, so no performance hit, which is pretty cool. You also get 4096 stream processors too. Now the fan that actually comes with this isn't necessarily removable except for cleaning uh, purposes. Um, it's built in and uh, is actually really quiet so you wouldn't really want to change it. The radiator has a huge end tank down the bottom so it's 55mm thick but you do get some rather nice cabling and sort of tube braided sort of tubing and cables which is all cool. Um, as I said this fan is actually PWM so is incredibly quiet. The only issue, as I said, is the uh, pump noise issue. But in terms of power, um, this actually has a really cool sort of feature with 10 LEDs in the back to show the uh, activity of the GPU. And as you can see, under those LEDs, you get two 8 pin power connectors to power this uh, beast. It's a 275 watt TDP. And if you want to go a bit faster, there's a bio switch there which you can change to the sort of insane mode. Um, if you want to try and overclock this or just you know try and overclock it and then have a backup BIOS. On the back you have an HDMI port and three display ports which is all cool, personally display ports my favourite anyway. And uh, yeah, something really cool about this is if you want to take off these uh, four sort of hex screws or, or allen key screws here, you can actually replace this plate if you wanted to and you can take a look inside the cart. As you can see this one as I said has the wrong Cooler Master logo but it's completely fanless inside which is why it's incredibly silent all bar the uh, pump noise issue which is fixed in the ones you'll actually buy. This plate can be 3D printed, I've seen people doing it recently, so if you wanted to customise the bottom, of, what, what will be the bottom of your graphic card, you can do, and it's just really cool that that's a thing. Now, one thing I was a little bit confused about is the uh, four holes in the back. They're threaded, so in theory you could you know screw stuff in, but I don't know if that's just for like standard airflow to go through. I uh, don't think it's that important, but just something I point, uh, noticed. Now, one thing I did want to point out is that the Radeon logo on the side does also light up red and just looks so cool. I mean, look at it. Just look, look. It, it's awesome. So in terms of performance, um, you're going to be looking at what, well, it's not really too surprising, it is a flagship card, so you're looking at 120 FPS on like ridiculously high settings on GTA, so that's always cool. Unfortunately, we didn't get any other cards to test with, so this is just the performance we got, and you can compare it yourself to anything you have personally, or you know, any other reviews you want to check out. At 1440p, we're getting, you know, in this relatively same region, so, you know, in Bioshock Infinite, we're getting 220 FPS at 1080p, whereas 150 on 1440p. Again, this uh, is probably a game that I'm going to have to ma make redundant and make way for a, a newer game, probably the same with Grid 2 as well, but saying that, with ridiculously high settings, we did get some pretty awesome, uh, you know, frame rates on, you know, full, full high settings, so that's cool. So I'm going to do a little bit of a conclusion and just round it up, uh, hopefully for you. So as of becoming style here, I thought I'd do a quick conclusion of the card and what I thought of it before we finish. So let's start off with temperatures. Besides Unigen Heaven's hiccup, where his head is running at 2.1 million degrees Celsius, and um, we're actually running at about 60 degrees, uh, you know, on full load, which is pretty fantastic. Especially, I mean, I know it is closed loop liquid cooling, but. You know, for it being practically silent, besides the fact that we got uh, the uh, the older generation with uh, you know the pump issue, um, it's it's fantastic. Especially you know the card that you pick up on the street or you know Amazon if you want to buy it there. Um, that card is going to be near silent on full load at you know 60 degrees Celsius, and that's that's fantastic. Obviously. Um, you know, in terms of aesthetics, I don't mind the fact that it has a radiator. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, it's a thick radiator plus the fan uh, with a sort of big end, uh, end tank on the bottom. So um, be careful of your know, positioning. But 
it's it's pretty fantastic and you know I, I actually really like the aesthetics of the car the fact the fact that it's really short and then that cut the plate that you can customize uh, you know on the bottom that's pretty cool too and obviously with the red LEDs and I really like the implementation of the the red LEDs next to the power for load that's that's really cool now in terms of performance, this sits very close to a 980 Ti as far as we found on other people's benchmarks. Unfortunately we didn't get a 980 Ti to be able to test this with, but even at 2560 and, uh, well, I didn't get a chance to include it, but at 4K, um, that's pretty, you know, it does very, very well, especially on high settings. Obviously it is uh, AMD's highest end GPU, but in comparison to a 980 Ti, as far as I found it's very similar, and if you do wind up the resolution towards, you know, 4K, you're looking at closer to a Titan X, which is actually pretty fantastic fantastic because this sits basically at the same price as of reviewing, uh, it sits at the same price as an ETI so if you are planning on going 4k anytime in the future you'll actually get more out of this uh, you know from that upgrade than you will if you went for uh, you know a Titan X or at very least an ETI so that's really cool. Now in terms of power efficiency, it does seem to be a lot more power efficient, which is actually really awesome. Um, and, you know, uh, obviously in comparison to AMD's older cards or even the 390X, um, it's obviously cooler, runs, it seems to be running more efficient and just generally is pretty awesome, so that's really cool. In terms of sort of pros and cons, obviously it's a fantastic GPU with great power, obviously things like FreeSync, which we're checking out in the BenQ video if you want to check that one out. Um, you know that that's pretty fantastic and all that sort of stuff and obviously great temperatures but the cons are that it is quite an expensive card so you know bear that in mind obviously it is a flagship card but you know just bear that in mind when you go to look at it if you go oh i really want this card and they go oh that's really expensive it's a flagship card you you know you kind of expect it so um, in terms of you know actual like scores vive for is probably gonna get a four just because it's great performance and obviously you get more performance the higher resolution you go which is actually really interesting but still really cool and uh, yeah you get um, all that sort of stuff and you know just really cool looking card um, in terms of you know performance gonna get a five because it's fantastic I just uh, it's you know it's it, amazing um, in terms of functionality I'm gonna have to give it a five as well because uh, you know those LEDs obviously this is a reference card so I'm excited to see what you know the add-in board partners do at a later date or even with a sort of second generation one either um, it's gonna be really exciting in terms of style gonna get a five as well for Titan GB score it's gonna get a five as well it's definitely a gamer approved card and it's something that you know, if you have the money for it, I definitely recommend checking out in comparison to an ATI. Obviously, you know, you do get some uh, different benefits, but for something like FreeSync, where you end up with a BenQ uh, XL2730Z, uh, it's a fan that's a fantastic monitor, and paired with this card, it was the best gaming experience that I've almost ever had. So, you know, that's, that's kind of something to say about it. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in a high-end GPU, this may be something to look at. For any more tech specs, you know, uh, the amount of stream processors and stuff, check out the website for the full written review. And uh, other than that, don't forget to, uh, if you want this, buy it on Amazon and help us out. You know, click the uh, link down that way. Um, if you want to grab a t-shirt, mine is in the wash at the moment, but if you want to grab a t-shirt, a hoodie or anything else, check out the merchandise link. That's Redbubble. They're awesome. You get it in like 5 to 15 days in both the US and the UK, so that's really cool. Um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of our other videos over there. Um, feel free to check us out on Twitter and Facebook. And we post, you know, occasional things on there. So, you know, feel free to interact with there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next video.